Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tuan Pham. Perhaps we've met in person at Dental Maverick Summit, or perhaps you've taken my course to help improve the productivity of your office. In any case, we haven't met, it's nice to meet you. In case you don't know, I'm a practicing dentist. I've practiced for 15 years in Austin, Texas, and work Monday through Thursday as a general practitioner. Today, I'm gonna to give some thoughts about Sodium Dental's new Aurora X-ray sensor. In case you don't know much about Sodium Dental, they are uh, a company that does many things, dental technology, but one of the main things they've known for is X-ray sensor repair and X-ray technology. Personally, myself, I've used Sodium Dental for many years. I have many Gendex sensors in my office, and through the years, through wear and tear and use, the cords get damaged, the X-ray sensor isn't recognized by my computers, and each time I've successfully sent them back to Sodium Dental for repair instead of Gendex itself. In case you're curious why, they do a very good job. They save me money uh, relative to Gendex and their extended warranty. I've had very good results with them and very am, high, am highly satisfied. Recently, unfortunately, I did have to send off my Gendex GFX 770 sensor or GFX 700 sensor because the computer was not recognizing it. Off for repair, they called me and they said, hey, would you like to demo or take a look at our new Aurora sensor, which you may be interested in at some point in the future? I said, sure, why not? I like trying new things and I like their service. So here I am, they sent me this box. All I've done so far is cut the top portion off. So let's take a look. Before I even received it, they told me that this would be very well packaged in a Pelican case, which you haven't seen. Or, there are many sizes, but they're very durable um, because, you know, I don't know about you, but my UPS man will throw these and sometimes I get dented boxes. And so uh, I guess that's a nice way to ship it. So let's take a look at what we see. I just cut the box, it's open. We got nice padding here, bubble wrap padding. Oh, and as we can see, this is a very nice case. This is a Pelican case. And so let's take a look. Plenty of bubble wrapping in this. Now, this is my first time opening it, so I actually don't really know what's in here, so let's take a look. Two nice snaps to open. Sounds very durable. We can see inside there's a padded case. I see that there's a manual here and warranty information. I believe one of the highlights of this system, and please, anything that I discuss here, please confirm with Sodium Dental, but you have two options if you decide to purchase, I'm oh, sorry, decide to use the sensor. You have the first option of purchasing it outright, uh, just like any product, or you have another option where I believe you pay a monthly fee, uh, correct me if I'm wrong and please verify this, but I believe it's 175 a month and this gives you the sensor to use and it has a very detailed and very uh, comprehensive warranty that will replace it or repair it for any damages done. So that's a pretty nice uh, warranty in my opinion, because, you know, I don't know about your office, but if you're a really busy office or you have kids running around or just unfortunately careless assistants, sometimes they don't put the cords or put the sensor like you want. Like in my office, I have Gendex sensors, like I said, and it's placed on the holder, but there's a long cord that wraps <laughs> around. And then in some cases, I had, in my workstation, there's a little drawer and I see them kinking the wire in the drawer. And for years, I told them to pay attention to it. And they do most of the time, but sometimes stuff still happens. Or sometimes you have, I mean, I had once I had a kid running around. I had a Gendex uh, EHD sensors with the big box and then the sensor. Kid running around, for some reason, he grabbed the sensor, knocked the whole thing on the ground, case cracked on it. That's a $10,000 sensor. So, you know, stuff happens in the office and when it does, you know, it's a bummer. It can be very expensive to fix or very expensive to replace. So uh, I've never seen a company that has a, a comprehensive warranty. And like I said, you know, I'm, I'm not a representative for Sodium Dental. I don't know their policies exactly, but if it's something you're interested in, you should take a look because comprehensive warranty, 175 a month, that's not too bad, you know, uh, gives you cash flow. Cash flow is important, you know, you can distribute it uh, uh, the costs uh, over time and, you know, uh, have more cash flow for your office in general. So let's take a look. We also see these. Oh, these are troll bites. Troll bite x-ray positioning sensor kit. 
Uh, I've used Trollbite for certain things. Um, they are pretty darn good. You know, um, I'm not sure if these are reusable or not, but they look like it. They're probably autoclavable, which is nice. And what else do we see here? Let's take a look right here. I see a little plastic piece. I'm not sure what this is. Well, there's a little plastic piece with a little SIM card looking thing. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure what this is, but uh, if I wasn't sure, I would call Sodium Dental and I'm sure they'd give me some information. Besides that, we see this X-ray sensor. Now, I will take some videos or photos to show you the difference between the Gendex GSX 700, which I've had for many years. Uh, I like that sensor because the sensor head seems to be smaller and it has nice rounded corners, which will aid in the comfort uh, of, for patients. So let's take a look at this. This looks pretty small. Again, I don't have my Gendex sensor here with me, but this looks very close to the size of my GSX 700. Uh, we can see that it has beveled edges. 45 degree angle here, which looks pretty good. Uh, as you know, especially with the sharp edges when you place this in and uh, in the front of the mouth where there may be tori, the sharp edges can be uncomfortable. When I feel with my finger, this feels nicely well rounded. Uh, feels great. It feels smooth. It doesn't feel rough. It doesn't feel sharp. Again, I want to compare the sensor size and the width or thickness of this with my Gendex GSX 700. But I have a feeling this is right at the size of it or maybe, maybe slightly slimmer. Uh, based on my recollection of it. We can see this has a nice thick cord. Uh, I will comment and say that my Gendex has a much more flimsier cord compared to this. This looks much more durable. Um, honestly, my Gendex looks like, uh, it's like when you buy a pair of, uh, not a pair, but when you buy a lightning cable for Apple. You know, some of the knockoff ones, they're really thin. And that's what my Gendex looks like. So this one looks like it's nice, thick and rubbery, which is nice because I'm sure Occurrences like where it gets kinked in my drawer or my workstation that will greatly reduce the risk of this having damage. But like I said, if it did have damage, uh, we just send it off to, to sodium or I'll, they'll probably just cross ship you a new one perhaps. Again, I'm not sure, but uh, that's something to look, to look into. So I just wanted to show this is the sensor. We'll take a couple of videos to kind of zoom in on here, uh, but this is a nice looking sensor. All right, everyone, this is a zoomed in view of this x-ray sensor. Like I said, when I'm at work, I will take photos comparing my Gendex GSX 700 sensors with these for comparison. I will also take some x-rays so that we can see the difference in image quality. Uh, but of course, uh, my statement for that is oftentimes image quality of x-ray sensors is dependent on the software itself also. And also tweaking and customizing uh, the settings on the software to get it to the sharpness, graininess, etc. that you like. But as we can see here, this is a nice, very durable padded case. I mean, shoot, look, I mean, I can bang on this and it's not going to break. It's very hardy. If you drop this case, it will protect your sensor very well. Uh, this is a good place to store it, especially weekends. Um, or if you have people, a lot of people running through your office and you're concerned. Uh, but we can see the sensor itself right here. Like I said, it is pretty darn small. You look at the width of this, this is not very thick at all. Uh, like most sensors, like my Gendex, it does have the portion where the cable comes in, so there's some bulging out of this. But for the most part, the sensor is very thin. I like it because when I feel with my finger, I don't feel sharp edges, and it's nice, this beveled 45 degree angle here, which means that, you know, if you place it in, it's less likely to bang on the tori or have a sharp point that will make it uh, uncomfortable against the gingiva. We can see that this cord is pretty thick, like I said. You know, some of my Apple cables, the knockoff ones, my Amazon ones, uh, generic ones, they're pretty thin, but this is pretty durable. I mean, it's I, it's it's hard to get, I'm not gonna kink it purposely, but it's harder to get the kink, and there's more protection against this. I've got a pretty long length here, standard length. Uh, of course, in my office, one of the recommendations to use is to use a very short USB extender because one of the parts of failure will be this or the USB hub. And you should use a powered USB hub if you don't have one. And powered means that the hub is separate by itself with a power source. Uh, but I use a USB extender, of course, to protect the longevity of this, uh, to reduce the risk of it being sent off for repair. But like I said, this, this sensor does have, a, a, for 175 a month or purchased outright, it does have a very long warranty. I, I believe it's five years where it covers uh, comprehensively for many things. So, of course, please verify with Sodium Dental. 
Uh, beyond that, like I said, it comes with troll bite x-ray positioning sensors for bite wings, anteriors, and posteriors. Troll bite makes some good products. I believe they're from Sweden. And of course, we have a product warranty in here. And we also have a product manual. Um, I'm not going to sit here and read this, of course, but uh, from what I know, there's a pretty darn good warranty. So uh, that's it for this portion. Uh, we're going to show some pictures of the sens sensors compared to each other and uh, some x-rays uh, for comparison. Okay, everyone. We're going to do a quick comparison between these two x-ray sensors. I'm back at work now, so I have my head covering, my mask, and everything on. But here's my Gendex sensor. This is actually one that's been repaired by Sodium Dental. And I can see that because I can just tell like this area has been refinished somehow. Uh, the cords that they use are actually thicker than the OEM ones that come with it, which is nice. But let's take a look. On the one hand, we have the Aurora sensor. On one hand, we have the other Gendex sensor. When I put them up to next to each other, we can see they're pretty much the same size, which is nice. Like I said, I like the Gendex sensors because they have these rounded edges. Uh, which help with comfort. These have a beveled edges, the bevel, I'm sorry, beveled edge for the similar, similar uh, function to reduce this comfort in the mouth. Um, we can see, like I said, that they're pretty much the same size. If we hold them next to each other right here, you can actually see, just as I suspected, that the Aurora sensor is slimmer than the Gendex sensor. Uh, looking at this, I'd probably say it's about three millimeters slimmer. Um, than the Gendex sensor, which is nice because especially people with tori, uh, we can have more uh, leeway without pressure on it. I can see that this Aurora sensor, comparatively to the Gendex sensor, has uh, a nice attachment here. It looks very durable. I imagine that if this were damaged and it had to be replaced because of the way that this attachment's done, they can more readily put a nice cord in there and replace it uh, versus putting epoxy or some sort for repair for this. Um, but that's the difference between these sensors. We can see that this is, like I said, slimmer, nice beveled edges, and basically the same size as my Gendex sensor. Um, just so you all see, like I discussed previously, on my Gendex sensor, I do use a short USB extension. Uh, this is to protect it from uh, damaging this portion or the USB hub portion itself. Uh, very inexpensive. I get this on Amazon for probably five bucks a piece. I always have a couple extras as they wear out. So I hope that helps. We're going to take a look at some uh, image quality just a bit too. Before we look at the images themselves, let's talk about the software that comes with uh, sensors. In my case, like I said, I have Gendex sensors and they come with TigerView software. Uh, Tiger View is something that, for some reason, I picked it in the past. It's not my favorite. After looking at Apertix, uh, the software that Apertix offers is way better comparison to what I have. Um, I wouldn't really recommend Tiger View for most people. But the main point about bringing up software is that software, uh, the imaging software that you get, is very dependent on calibration and tweaking of. What I mean is, out of the box, when Tiger View was, was first installed for me, or when new versions were updated, the imaging that came out of it was terrible. I hated it. Everyone has different preferences. Some of you like fuzzy images. Some of you like sharper images. Some of you like grainier images. Some of you like uh, darker images. It's all relative. We all have preferences. So what I'm saying is the image software that you'll see, the images that you'll see now between the x-ray sensors, we can't make definitive uh, uh, determinations based on the images themselves because the software that comes with Aurora has not been tweaked for myself, okay? Like I said, it takes time with the technician, uh, the software manufacturer to figure out the settings that you like. But what we can do is have an overview and just see uh, what we see on these images. So let's take a look at everything, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I had some x-rays taken on myself. I had some bite wings taken on the left side of my mouth, first with the Gendex sensor, sensor followed up by the new Aurora sensor. Just my point of view, but based on having the Gendex sensor in my mouth first, when the Aurora sensor was placed in, it felt very similar. It did not feel bulkier. It felt pretty comfortable, which is nice. Again, I've spoken about before, but the reason I picked the Gendex GSX 700 sensor in the past was because it 
It was a very slim and rounded sensor and I bought it for comfort. Image quality is great, but uh, at that time I bought it mainly for comfort. And I will uh, very happily say that this Aurora sensor feels very similar in my mouth. So let's take a look at some of the image quality now. All right, let's take a look at these images. This is the left image of my mouth, left bite wing with two fillings. Unfortunately, I did have cavities when I was younger. I like this image because it's been tweaked to what I like. Uh, it's sharper, it's grainier, my preference, everyone's different. The difference here is another image. This is the right image of another person. Uh, this image was taken when uh, Tiger View was upgraded and there had been no calibrations. It's fuzzier. Again, it's a very good image. It's just fuzzier and uh, that's what I wanted to show that software tweaking can get you changes in what you want. But we can see the difference there and this is the reason I wanted to show this image. But we can see this Gen X one is just fuzzier. So let's head on to the Aurora sensor right now. Well, this is the Aurora sensor. I just blew it up. Same view as mine. I like this. This is already pretty sharp. Uh, you know, I'd say the, the default image out of uh, the Aurora sensor compared to the Gen X sensor. And again, I, I can't answer if this is a direct comparison because it's different software. Uh, but I like this initial image that I see. It's fairly sharp, uh, has good contrast. I can see the interproximals pretty well. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, with tweaking, you can improve uh, whatever you want to see on the, on, the, on the screen itself. So uh, my initial thoughts about this sensor is that it feels good. Beyond that, uh... so now that I've tried out both sensors, I'm going to give you some final thoughts about what I think. Based on how it feels in my mouth, I like this Aurora sensor. We knew beforehand, and I showed you in those videos, it's slender, has nice beveled edges, it's smaller, it's thinner, and both sensors when placed in my mouth, especially because I have tori on the bottom, it's usually uncomfortable for me to have x-rays placed in there, but both of them, both sensors felt very comfortable. And so in terms of comfort, feel, usability, I say the Aurora sensor is pretty darn good. Now, in regards to imaging, well, I showed you images of my tweaked x-rays comparatively to non-tweaked default images, which I also compared to the non-tweaked default images of the Aurora sensor on the Apert tapes. I, what can I say? I say that the default images for both of them look very good. I like the Aurora default images because it's actually a little sharper. And the reason I say that is I showed you what I like personally, which is a sharper, grainier image. If I have a default image from the Aurora sensor that's also already semi-sharp, the ability for myself, with the help of a technician, support software, support to calibrate it to what I want, totally possible. What I'm saying is, the default image of the Aurora sensor, that's a very darn good start. Even if I didn't tweak this, I could have looked at this, I could have diagnosed, I could have seen things. And so, pretty good so far. Hope that helps.